So I had an interesting situation happen recently. Um, things like this don't happen very often and it's because usually I'm very good at checking things to make sure things are okay. This is one of those unfortunate situations where something kind of fell through the cracks. But I thought I'd go ahead and give you the details of that and explain what that means and maybe some implications for me as well as for you, lessons to be learned. So uh, recently I went out for those who watched it, it's been about a month and a half, I went out to the Limonite Pseudomorphs in Utah. I've been there multiple times, and on this occasion, I was found on YouTube by a couple who apparently had staked a claim now on that location. I was pretty surprised because I never saw any signs or indications that a claim had been staked. And since I had been out there, you know, the first couple times, I hadn't checked again to see if any claims were posted after that. Something you don't normally think about, right? Easy thing to overlook and easy mistake. And usually if somebody stakes a claim during that time, usually when you go out there, there'll be some kind of evidence. There'll be a sign or there'll be posts or something. In this instance, there was nothing. So anyway, they contacted me and like, hey, that's on our claim. Um, you know, you're not supposed to be collecting anything on a claim. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't actually know it was a claim now because when I had first gone out, it wasn't, you know, well, the first time I went out back in, I think it was right at the end of the June, beginning of July of 2021, there was no claim on it. I went and looked on Sitla, you know, cause this is state land. This isn't BLM. This is the state public lands, which is a little different. And I went and looked and sure enough, they had posted a claim about two months after I had posted those first three videos, right? So of course there was no claim on it when I first went and when I researched about it. Then it begs the question, okay, what happened to the, why not, why not put a sign up? Turns out they did put a sign up, but some inconsiderate person went out there and removed it. So I feel really bad for them, but also that made things difficult for me too, because now how do I know it's a claim other than going back and looking at Sitla, which I just didn't think to do. So looking back, it's like, okay, when I went out this last time, because it's been over a year since I went out, it would have been a good idea to check and see if anything had changed. So moving forward, that's good information to, uh, you know, be checking those things, but also it's a good opportunity also to realize that as claim owners, you know, it, you got to do a good job in trying to make it known to the public that this place is now claimed. Anyway, some good lessons learned there. So moving forward for you, for anybody who has found out where this location is, because when I posted the videos, I didn't give GPS coordinates, but it's something people can still figure out, right? Because as I'm moving around, you can maybe see some mountains or landmarks and you know, you kind of know the area, kind of where it is. And some people might just simply go online now knowing that that's in that area and look online and maybe even find the claim and be like, oh, that must be where it is. So if you know where this location is, if any of you have figured out where to go to look for these limonite pseudomorphs, please do not go out there. It is now under claim, all right? And respect the claim owners. Also. I don't know if you maybe have noticed, but I did remove that video as well as the two other videos that I had filmed a while back that did occur after they had posted the claim. So I went ahead and removed those videos for respect of the claim owners and I'll give them back the stuff I found during that time and I'll probably give them some extra stuff. Why not? I like giving stuff to people. And so, yeah, just in case you might have been wondering, some of you may have noticed that those videos had been taken down or disappeared. It's for respect for the claim owners. And this was just a very interesting, unusual situation. Like I said, I do my research before I go out the first time, but it looks like in this instance, I should have looked again because something had happened in between. And of course, as claim owners, remember, it's really important to try and do your best to stake your claims. And maybe they are, maybe they're just stuck with a really horrible individual who keeps removing signs and things like that. And if that's one of you that has actually seen my videos, stop it, right? Don't do this. All right. Be respectful of claim owners and make a good impression of rock hounds. We need to be better rock hounds. Anyway, that's the story there. Some good things to learn. 
and hopefully things will be good moving forward. And remember, until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere, but be respectful of people who own claims and do the best you can by them.